morning guys. It is our first morning in San Diego. Um, it's quite early right now. We're going out for some breakfast and then we'll go to um, the gas lamp district. District, I think it's called. It's like the old town, old city center of San Diego. Uh, my brother is going to surf all day. So I'm just going to be with my parents um, walking around and checking out the historical buildings and just some shops and stuff and then in the afternoon we'll go swimming as well because I want to lay on the beach for like one or two hours and then uh, we'll go out for dinner and then later tonight we'll have a haunted tour in San Diego which is going to be really fun um, it's also in the old district because there's apparently a lot of old buildings that are haunted um, so yeah that should be fun it's, I think it's about two hours the tour and um, yeah, that's what we're doing today, so um, it'll be fun. Left my home long ago to get out of California. California, California. Bird she eyes, you're the side, and I thought for our soul. I have seen future hiding beneath the waters. I have seen future that I cannot seem to wonder. ramen which was not very there was just not that much flavor to it so I put like I had to put like half a thing of salt and pepper and spicy stuff in it to really have some flavor but it was it was it was okay it had like broccoli and corn and um, tofu and everything in it it was nice but it was just not that flavorful um, before that we just laid on the beach and I didn't bring my camera I did fly the drone which you have seen um, if I got any good footage but um, I flew the drone and then we just laid on the beach and I didn't film anything because I didn't want to bring my camera and now we just had a quick dinner and um, we're going to the uh, haunted tour and uh, yeah I'm excited to see what that's like we're gonna see some ghosts or something I don't know what's gonna happen it's not like a scary horror or like jump scare kind of tour it's really like historical information and going to haunted places and stuff like that. So yeah, exciting. Here we are at the Whaley House, built by Thomas Whaley in 1856. You may not see anything unusual while you're taking photos this evening, but very often ghostly phenomena shows up on film, mostly in the form of white round spirit orbs, but we have even captured numerous apparitions on our tour. Well, the Villa Montezuma is said to be haunted, otherwise we wouldn't be going there, <laughs> by two people who once lived here. And what happens now next, hopefully, I'll start to feel, it feels like a tingling sensation in my hand. It's kind of feeling as if your hand or your foot has fallen asleep. Mrs. Yeager used to be in silent movies back in her day. She was not a star, but she, I wasn't even looking. A mirror we just walked underneath. What goes on there in that room, people complain about hearing ghostly knocking upon the door. It could be the closet door, the hotel door, the bathroom door. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is the most popular grave site here in the entire graveyard. It is the grave site here of Yankee Jim, James Robinson, also known as Santiago Robinson. 